on the feature station, we have a, uh, an interesting game. It's actually 2-0 to back to Classic. They are playing Stush Gaming, but in game one, it was a nice 5-0, but things got a little bit dicey for them in game number two, where it ended out 50-48. to So just a two-kill swing. We'll see what happens in the remainder of this series. Absolutely oh, tremendous um, stuff there, Wonderboy. Yes. Get us on the edge of our seats. Here is that series layout. 5-0, 50 to 48. Maybe this is where Stush turn it around, Tom. Possibly. Construct. Are we going to see Narrows? Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe not. But you have to think about getting the low guy out of the hill. That's literally the start of everything good in Construct Kill King in terms joy. of taking things back. Well, the master is trying to make something good happen here. He picks up two, still has that sniper rifle with his hands as well. The Techie Knight will be taken down. Didn't need the headshot, but decided to be precise and take him down with that little blader. Sandel going to be taken down to no shields as well, and Penguin will finish that kill. So now we're finally seeing a little bit of control here at the top of the map here for Stush Gaming. So this is our final game that we are going to be delving into today, and we've got Stush versus Demonica. With the Stush team anyway, I'll be looking at players like Icon, mainly because of the fact that, you know, some Halo 5 experience here and there, he's a very good FFA player. Can he transition it to Halo 3? Yes, he can, but how well can he do it? How much has he actually played on this game in comparison to Halo 5? Penguin, he's been a bit of a veteran in the scene. He's got a lot of experience, a lot of events underneath his belt. And we're going to be taking a look at the maps that are going to be playing out in this round for the final game of the day, so everything is is on the line here and of course uh, this is our, from our from our group D teams and this is how round four is going to play out. Three grenades go through that's going to be a bit of an avoidance but I'll tell you what that window shot is fantastic. Penguin he picked up a double and managed to stop a flag run earlier on while Mister on the opposing other side of the map manages to stick it in so 1-0 up bag of flag now the pressure put back on the blue team. Yeah I mean the analyst desk were predicting that Demonica were going to take this one, but currently behind 1-0, and they've just really struggled to control either side of the map, and they've just been pushed off spawn so much by Stush Gaming that Penguin is just on a tear. Nice double kill as well, holding down P at the, at the moment, and not afraid to challenge, even on no shields, to help a teammate, and that is always showing a fantastic Halo player. People who are more than happy to sacrifice their own life to keep their teammates alive. Because he's got his haircut, now I can see what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, that helps. Suddenly you can run flag after flag after flag because you keep your opponent spawning and they get stuck on this horrible trap. But thankfully for Stush, they're not going to allow any back-to-back -back flags just yet. Should have killed him then. Penguin jumps out one shot. It was a ballsy challenge, but somehow made it work. Manatee running P2. It's it's an orthodox. Um, we'll see if it does make it work. It looks like they have provided. Oh, oh that's no, that's on the leg as well, right? Did he, did he get a touch at least? Oh wow. Okay, so this will be not only the return but the movement as well. So potential counter cap here. I was going to say the problem is watching Carbine side, but the P1 rush was was real and. God damn it worked. Yeah, that, that's always the downside though of running the flag P. You leave yourself far more vulnerable to grenades as this flag is going to be put in yet again. And that's going to be a 4-1 lead now for Stush. And some big individual kills coming out from the red team. The sword in the hand of Penguin. And he's just pushing. He's getting aggressive. And this could be another run if they're not careful. Because now he can push to these spawners under the base and the car. And he can really do some damage to the sword, but he misses the lunge. A little bit too early, a little bit overzealous. Um, with the Halo 3 sword, but as slow as it is. Like on midship, you picked up that thing, you were almost indestructible. It'd take a, a new combo from B1 to at least do some damage and remove it. Potential here for a triple. There's two players directly in front of him. It's not there, but he does get it. So one more player, there's definitely three down, and now you can feed that info back to your teammates. And that's going to be game as well. That's the fifth flag in for Stush. And quite rightly, the must start standing up and letting them know. Penguin also saying, like, guys, are you going to turn up to this game? Because they completely dominated. The Monica just weren't able to get a control of the map whatsoever. And the flag runs were also fantastic. I mean, the great, <laughs> the, the, the great positioning from these guys and even a wink at the camera from Penguin as well. Expected. And with open bracket, that's what we need to do. We need to expect the unexpected. A little thumbs up there from on the screen. Looks like the players are ready to rock and roll. Fist bumps all around. Rockets, Namaster checking the backside. I think he's in enemy territory here. Mr. has picked up a double. There's a headshot as well by the look of the medals. Icon directly next to him. Nick, dead. Bye bye, Godlin. Looking for more through the smoke. The 
does to settle from the grenade. He does have a tank, no frag just yet. His teammates in front of him and they're just mopping up. So this is great assist work. Even if you're just tagging them like that, as long as the player there with the BR, because you can, it is much easier to finish off on lap with Halo 3. Provided all these tags that he's getting, his teammates are there yep. to just take them down. Find yourself falling very far behind to power weapons. Good God, I've missed this game. Oh, there's a lot of teabagging going on. There is. I'm all for it. More bagging. Shout. Give each other hell. It's open bracket. That's what it's all about. Like, watching this from this POV, all I want to do is pick up even... Like, I'd get bodied in this, but I still just want to pick up a pad. Oh, icon. And, and do that to people. I mean, Shoot no. their bodies quick. He's, his, he's wasting no. his ammo, but he doesn't really care at this point because he's out PRing everyone as icon. They now need to coordinate this push together. That's disgusting. All right. Manatee's dead, that's a double, quick scope to boot. Feels like the call from the Monica to slow this game down came a little bit too late, and they pushed into the, ad, uh, the situation where Stush would just be able to pick them off one by one when they had both sniper rifles, when they had the rockets, they've got all the power weapon control, and it's been the body shots from all of them with the sniper rifles, trusting their teammates to finish those kills, and now they can pile in for that final one. There it is, Stush go 2-0 up, and maybe Stush are going to be providing a little bit of a shush after this game against Monica. Looks like they might be heading out of the tournament if they don't change things very quickly. Over there, transfer will across. Come off the back of where the sword spawns. Icon letting him know, that's fine. He's okay. dead, don't worry. I'd like a percentage of how many bullets have hit enemies whilst they were alive and whilst they were dead for Icon, because I feel like he's hit more shots than when they were dead. That's a really solid nade, pick up two of them. Desperately trying to get Light into down. the action rather than listening to their teammates of where they've just died. Because if you've just seen a teammate die in a P, you don't bomb up the P because it's not really going to work out. So you've got two people on either street and he was allowed to be assassinated. Why did neither of the two on the opposing side call that thing out? Yeah, Icon doing really well, being very sneaky. And you get those players in Halo 3. That's why I, I love Halo 3, because as an individual, you can make such an impact with players like that. Response will be there. You can see one player flies up bottom gold in the lift. So the pre nade should have been real. There is a second follow-up, two down instantly. And again, it just feels like they're just running at this and throwing bodies. At the moment, they're feeding down. Now, Demonica are currently residing in the hill, but that's two overshields in a row for Stush. They had the timing down. Penguin was there, he was waiting. And this is going to be very difficult for you. Oh, see idiot. you Ooh. later. Sean, why? Powerful rockets can be, especially in Construct King of the Hill as well. You can get four guaranteed nice kills. Shot. But yeah, that's decent PR to make up for it for Penguin. That need, though. That's plus two of them weak. Now he's just going hunting. Godless to his left hand side. If he followed this one up, that, oh, whoa, I thought I was going to say it actually killed him. Make a decision, don't stand still, you will get tagged up. Don't know why he was standing still in the hill, it's a questionable one, but nevertheless, he's a kill for Mr. 1 2, thank you. I feel like it's the overshield, where's the hill time? How are they getting back into this game? Overshield's going to be popping. Is that that's the main place to be going if you don't have top control. Uh, did, anyone, trouble. did anyone grab that overshield? It looks like. It was Stush Gaming yet again getting nervous. That would be their third or fourth of the game. The Monarch have only had one. And now with the sniper rifle as well and rockets spawning in around 30 seconds, this is going to put them in such a good stead to actually get onto the course of winning this game. And now they all flood basement area. Shoddy's down here and he's waiting. It's a little bit early to be waiting for the overshield, though. So he is hunted by his opposition. Rockets would have spawned. Someone's probably got them at this point, and they're probably going to be doing some damage. It's going to be Icon. And that's not good news for Demonica. I think this series is slowly but surely getting away from Demonica now. And they'll be exiting the competition unless they can do something drastically different. But when Icon is on the tear, look, he doesn't even care that someone's shooting him right now. He just wants to make a statement. Penguin continuing the assault, but unfortunately, for Demonica, we think this is all she wrote, the Master can now just put the nail in the coffin here with this OS, take the hill. Ten more seconds, and that's a big GG. And that should just about wrap up all of our 12 teams that are going to be competing tomorrow. Most of the favourites, if not all the favourites, have gone through. We've had a couple of surprises here or there, but there you go, boys. Quite rightly, a deserved fist bump around, because what an incredible 3-0 that was against some good friends, and I'm sure they're going to be able to hold that over their enemies at the time, but friends later, and I'm sure they'll be telling them that for quite some, some months to come. Quick high five from across. Again, it's all friendly banter. Nobody wants to be going out. Nobody enjoys losing. We've all been there, unfortunately, on the, uh, the bitter end of it. But still, as long as it stays 
in the bracket and doesn't go any further than that. Everyone's friends and go for a beer after the event. That's what it's all about. We're all family in here, though. I think we're all too old to actually care about arguments these days. Championship Sunday, but for now, we will finish this one off with an interview. Harry and I believe it's Penguin down on the floor. Thank you very much, Sims. Yes, that's right. I'm here with Penguin from Stush Gaming. Congrats, mate. Congrats on the win. Um, sum up that series from your standpoint. Obviously, it was a very loud series. Uh, how did that go for you? Well, we're like quite a momentum team. Like we like to get loud because that's when we're playing confident. We're playing our best. Like we've all got like sick BRs. So like as long as we're like confident in our shot, like getting loud helps us to like you know get that momentum going. And just <laughs> if one of us is going off, then we all get hyped and just start gunning them. So. I said it was a very loud series. Was, is there any bad blood between you two? I noticed that a little bit of trash talk when it came your way. You just said, scoreboard? Scoreboard, yeah, because we were up like 100 points and someone's talking shit to me. Or trash, sorry. And uh, yeah, and I was just like, come on, we're up by 100 points. We're two up in the series. Scoreboards. But uh, there's no real bad blood, you know, but it's just a team that we haven't actually scrimmed that much online. And I feel like they thought they would definitely beat us. We thought we'd definitely beat them. So it's good to play them and, you know, let them know. 3-0. You're 3-1 in the pools now, and you're in the bracket for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, what are your expectations for tomorrow? Um, we'll just take it game by game. Like it's a generic Halo saying. Everyone says it, but, you know, we'll see who we're up against. You know, hopefully we get, like, a, a nice, nice first game to ease us in, but I reckon we're probably going to go up against, like, Tox or something and just get triple goose game one or something. So we'll see how it goes, but fingers crossed we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, and top 12 was, like, our minimum aim. Top eight is what we really want to get, so. Perfect, is there anyone, finally, that you want to play tomorrow that you haven't had the chance to play yet? I think we quite like to play uh, improv. We played them in a little scrim to warm up for this series, and we beat them in that, so we're feeling a little bit confident. Uh, they'll be a good team to play, and then probably the Swedish team, uh, I think they're called Revive, because uh, they're so spongy online, so we want to show them what's up on LAN. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Penguin, thank you so much for joining me now. I think we're going to go to the studio with Freya and Harry to wrap up the day's action. Thank you so much, Wonderboy. <laughs> it's great to get an insight from those guys down on the floor. What a spectacular showing. To round off the day, completely blew our predictions out of the water, didn't they, Harry? It threw ours completely. I was just gobsmacked. Now we're into the lower bracket. We have teams fighting for their lives. Of course, only 12 left, as you mentioned, but there will only be eight left after this round. And we've got Stush Gaming versus Improv, yeah, and we're already flag. jumping straight into the action, and it's going to be Narrow's flag. So correct me if I'm wrong, this is the last chance to dance for both of these teams. The loser of this, unfortunately, will be going out on the morning of Championship Sunday. Narrow CTF to open it up, Dan. Um, winning this one. It's it's not the easiest map in the world. Let's talk about, especially when you look at the. Oh, okay. Well, if you're going to start doing things like that and continue this one, look. No one's contested, or is there? Someone has pulled a flag, so there is a couple of players here from Improv to try and stop this one. Need to make sure you try and survive through that one. Unfortunately, does not. The flag will continue onward, and after that wave of slays, that should be the first one going in the back of net flags out. Supports their job done. One nil. You have to have nerves of steel coming into this, right? It's always difficult, especially when you've started in the lower bracket for the day as well, and it's your first game. You're, you're going to be facing off against a team who are, is dropping from the winner's bracket, but I tell you what, it doesn't look like it's affecting Stush Gaming at the moment, because Namastat, I mean, he was on a killing spree already. He's already picked up two more. He's on his way to a frenzy if he carries on. Players will be aggressive on this. They'll apply the pressure, try and keep control of the Rockets. That could be a stick if it had gone a little bit more to the right-hand side. Three players now know his position, but no one's staring at him. Why not? You know he's there. Look at him. Shoot him in the face. Don't let him run around your area. Are SG going to be able to answer back? Master has impressed me with his sniping, so is Mister as well. On the other side, he ends a spree, but he needs to now combine this with some communication with his teammates so they push up and they can finish off these body shots. I like how he's not sitting back, at least. He is getting aggressive with this and moving up. Even if you don't want to call it aggressive, it's not just sitting on the backboards and hoping to die eventually or do nothing because obviously spawning your teammates all the way far back and you're not putting this sniper rifle to good use. He most certainly is. He sees the new snipes up on the opposing side. The enemy one is down low. He might be able to use the base. Whip it. Whip it, son. You can talk about the highlight shots all day long, Down That sniper rifle was going to town on them. The master was pulling off some big, big hits. But ultimately, it's not about the slays. It's an objective game type. Well, that's your morning loss over and done with. That could be your warm-up game. You say, okay, 
mental attitude now. PMA, positive mental attitude. Get yourself together. No one's really... Mm, I mean, we can't really hear the comms, but no one's really talking on that side at the moment of SG. Focus. There's, That's all it is. Yeah, there's a lot of laughing on the opposing side, which is always good. Look at that. That, that is a focus. Dun, 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 dun. Push on your head. Watch the club. Watch that on down here. Three dead. Very impressive teams at this tournament. This could be a decent double. Nades down. I'll know where he is as well. More than likely backed up into the base, but support does come through. It's a nice little hidey hole here. Grenade does the job at least. I'll get the trade. It's okay being a wolf pack and hunting down these individuals as a team, but provided they move as a unit, which they are doing, they are separating. Don't go off solo, but sitting back in the base with three players individually, this will be a big kill if he lands it. He doesn't. Good attempt. Double comes up from Icon and puts him one step plus to victory. Killing spree comes through. You touched on him earlier on. Decent position in the games allowed him to claim victory down. Icon really impressed me yesterday, actually. Uh, and I, I'm very surprised by the SG roster. I mean, the, the analysts were predicting that they were going to lose to Demonica yesterday. Oh. And they've now turned up. They've got into the championship bracket. Yes, they were in the lower bracket, but now they are tied up with a team who dropped from the winner's bracket in Improv. And they have a chance to push through to the top eight if they carry on playing like this, because the, the sniping's been there, the slaying's been there. As I mentioned earlier, they achieved much more of a chunk of ball time, but it is very, it's very difficult to actually get into that position. And you also have to have players who are very versatile in which positions they sit in. Sometimes when you practice a game type like this, you might be used to watching a certain angle, and you're not always going to be able to be in those angles because you might have a different player holding the ball than the player who's supposed to hold the ball. So you need to have players who are willing to adapt and change those positions on the fly. Well, they've gained such a lead from it, and you can see the hesitancy from Improv at the moment. They're so reluctant to push out, they don't really know how to break the setup. And this is what happens with some teams who aren't as well practiced as the top teams. They're all well and good holding a setup, but it's breaking the setup, which is actually what makes teams better than others. Well, they have the setup, they have the ball time, and time keeps on ticking. Let's dive it into the listening and see exactly how the communication is while they hold this down. Two guys from this, two guys from this. Good shit, Sean, good shit, good shit. Watch new ball. Another guy low, another guy low. Sniping on S2 or something. Camera's what top gold. Oh, Camera's next minute. Camera's next minute. S2, S2 sniping. I'm on camera, I'm on camera. Camera's next minute. S2 sniping, we don't need the ball. One's in green, one's in green. I got shots. S3, S3. Fly, 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 fly. S3, fly. Nade green. One's my green, one's my green, bro. Yeah, watch, 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 Nice. Pushing nice. me green, pushing me green, pushing me green. Right, pushing me green. Uh, one's in green, one's nice that's two, one's that's two, one's that's two. Another guy green, another guy green. Top green, top green. Top mid as well. Did them S3, Sean. Two there, two there. Last guy green, last guy green. Nice, nice. I'm staying top green, you got me. I'm dying. Sean, get ball. Nice. One's in blue, one's in blue. I'm playing sneaky, I'm playing sneaky. Stay alive, stay alive. Good shit, Sean. Good shit. It's not a bad little find as well. Sniper rifle after all that, locking it down. I've got two things I noticed from the, that communication. A, the family aspect. He was calling him bro. I like that. That's always good to get you uh, positive. And so polite with his smack talk as well. Challenge me, Benjamin. Players away from this one over at gold. Player does pick up snipe, though. That's a double. Half the team eliminated now. Needs to be aware. Feeding this information back to the rest of the roster. That means they can collapse, maybe kill off gold. But they also have to pull back. Because Blue Spawn are down by shotgun. That local area is where they're coming, coming through thick and fast. Waits for the camo. That's fine. If he did pick it up, it's burnt now. It's gone. And interestingly deciding to run an open one's a sniper playing around. This is going to be really difficult again for a prof to break because the sniper rifle set up in the correct area. Penguin is watching bottom middle with the ball as well. He's got a teammate at green. Uh, 
ideal setup and even worse when Icon is just being such a nuisance behind them in blue. So now we're going to see how uh, SG are going to approach this break of a setup because they're in exactly the same set, uh, situation that Improv have been in so many times. They're all stuck in blue and you see three of them just soaring out of Four. window now. They got some shots onto S3. They forced him back to S2. As soon as they had that little bit of freedom, they're straight across the top of top mid. Yes, okay, there was no sniper rifle to push them, but now they pushed at the correct time where the sniper has spawned. This is really good stuff from SG. I suppose that's the the saving grace on the side of Stush Gaming. When you have that kind of lead, you don't even have to necessarily go for objective. You could just keep bleeding them out. Just just continuously kill, kill, kill. Hit the Tripsy. Doesn't quite, but knows where both of them are. Can relay that information to the team. We should clear this one up. And now they've got the wave of Slayers. You'd assume we're in about five seconds of it being impossible to win this match. That we are, Richard. That we are. And um, as you mentioned, SG could just watch the ball now and just be very passive and slay. And they know they're going to have the victory. And they know they're going to be going into game four with a lead. And this is what they wanted. They wanted improv in the lower bracket. They've been rewarded with uh, improv in the lower bracket. And now they actually have the advantage and the possibility <laughs> of getting top eight is definitely within their grasp. I'm very impressed with this side. I didn't think I'd ever say that with a side with Penguin in, if I'm completely honest, but Damn. he is a changed man on Halo 3. He's been performing so well at this tournament. It's the haircut. It is. He can There's see. There's no human as well. We're saying that human was the problem after all this time. I mean, I think that's probably quite likely. Wow. For instance, you not only be throwing him under a bus, you throw Spen as well to join him. I'm more than happy to call out human. So it looks like SG have woken up from the initial defeat in game number one. They win two back to back. Take the series to a 2 1. Game number four could be the advancement that they need. And that's the end of the run. Heretic capture the flag then. It is going to be game number four. I Make sure we kill the two. Our one. flag. Kill the two. Our flag. And master. Mate. Low, he's low on flag. Help flag. Help flag, Dave. Yep, shot on him. He's dead. I got him. Nice. I'm going to push where Ken was. Car two, car two. Yeah, C2, C2. Car two, one top one. bubble, one top bubble. Penguins, one shot. Their car door. Our car, one top bubble, man. one top bubble, man. Who was push, on our flag with me? Push their side, push their side, did. Push their side. Do you have to push over now? Fuck, man. He's on sword, he's on sword. I think that was one of our names. One, one, one on sword as well, Penguin. Kill this sword guy, kill this top big guy. I've got shots on him. Sword, sword, shoot, sword. Guys, they're nerd, they're nerd, go nerd. Oh, nerd, oh, nerd, oh, nerd, oh, nerd. On sword, on nerd. Yeah, no, fucking hell, it's a man. But a double cap coming out of improv. That's definitely going to set them going and gives you a big confidence boost going further into this game. That's how powerful just one all four down could be if you do it right. They, they were shouting to, to move it car as they rightly should. But after they got that first flag in, there was the opportunity with one player still in the base where they could run it car again. And there was some very loud communication, particularly from Benjamin. I, I personally think that can be a downside to a team if you've got one player overly aggressively screaming certain callouts because it could be particularly distracting but at the same time they were able to get two flags because of it so what works for a team works for a team i i totally agree i play with really low volume on my gates for why i'm quite bad to be fair but it gives me a mental block if there's even with the guns when they go off and when i'm shooting it gives me like a, a mental block where i just can't seem to focus too much seem uh, we're talking about focusing we have to focus on this this could be the four flag cap of the game we're all drawn up two apiece Four minutes in, this game's getting fiery. Yeah, really nice reply from SG. When you can get two flags back to back on you, it can be very detrimental and you can easily drop your head. You can find yourself getting lost on the map a little bit, trying to work your way back into it. But they got top middle control again. They managed to push onto the P and now they have full map control and that's going to be three dead yet again. So they're just looking around to see where the straggler is. Is he a car? Is he a P? That's a sticky grenade to the forehead. <laughs> Well, I think they died, so now they're making something of it. Straight off the back of the two down, they will continue the run, but there is an advancement there. That's uh, an interesting pull. I think he probably should have maybe tried to stay alive there rather than going for the flag because he'd run head on into them. Either that or try and throw out the front window, I guess. But yes. I think it was just a panic situation where he saw the flag was out and saw teammates was dying. He didn't really know where to go with it. He could have thrown it out, and if you throw it out, that gives it another fo uh, a focal point that teams can look towards and be a distraction. Speaking of distraction, you have to look on this side at the moment. The master is distracted by the flag. This is nice. It would have been a lovely return if he had touched a hold of it. CR1. No idea where he is whatsoever. Death from above. P3. But they get the touch as well. He needs to make sure that this goes down. That's a good shot to the back of the head. There is a response from car side. The touch is there. The grab's in. 3-2. to two. Can they make something of this? They need to make sure they don't get completely battered on arrival, which they do. The flag is returned, and now they're running outside the window. The... The abuse they get on Twitter is fantastic, I love it. I just, I just feed off of it. Memes, memes and dreams. Uh, that's a back whack. Missed finally does secure it through flags on the way across the opposing side. That's a double. This one, Dan, could actually be the game. 
could be the game, but there is a flag that's been pulled out as well. So Master just needs to win this fight. It's all on Didim's really in this base. He's going to have to throw the flag out. He does have support from Benjamin, though. This is going to be really messy. He's going to go for the flag return. Oh, he doesn't get it, though. They get the touch. Do they get the return? I think they do. Surely this should be a GG. It is job. They haven't got the return yet. Oh, this is so messy. Finally, they do. Flag should be there. They get it in. Team standing by. Job done. GG. 3 to 1. Improv. Unfortunately, will be not be continuing their run on Championship Sunday. SG, however, do. They fight back after losing the first flag of the day. They actually claim victory in the final one, and they advance. SG through to the top eight. I've been really impressed by SG, especially Master and Mister, but of course Icon and Penguin, they've been doing big things as well. So I'm intrigued to see how they do now going into the rest of the tournament, Rich. This is the, the final moments when it was getting a little bit messy and some big kills from Penguin. Not only did he stop the return there, but he then picked up the flag and then also pushed out to get another flag return as well. So Penguin playing very well right to the end of that game. Job done then. Congratulations, SG. Advance in the bracket. For now, I believe we have Wonderboy down on the floor with an interview with Icons. Thank you very much, Sims. I'm here with Icon. Congratulations, mate. A wonderful series. Uh, Penguin said yesterday you guys wanted to play those guys. Are you glad that you got the chance? I noticed that series was a little bit loud. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we got these guys because um, online, like we scrimmed for about past month and it was always close games. At first, um, I said to Sean, you know, like when he was coming in, like he had to sort of change his play style because with them, they kind of like bunch up together and they're good at singling someone out. So, uh, yeah, we were a bit practiced with them and I'm glad we got them. Let's talk about the series. Obviously, you did drop the one map, but got the 3-1 win in the end. Was there anything surprising about that series to you? Uh, well, yeah, I think, the, yeah, the, you know, them taking a the game one. Uh, Narrows were not too good. Uh, at the start and I think um, I actually grabbed the flag and yeah that surprised me I grabbed the flag and it didn't grab it so then they end up reeing and then from there it just yeah they went on you're top eight now with that win uh, can you guys go any further uh, yeah I believe we can go further um, we've been playing for quite a while uh, is we've got nothing to lose so yeah like we've got nothing to lose we made it to where we want to make it to so yeah why not we're just gonna play our hardest and yeah Awesome. Icon, thank you so much, mate. Congratulations on the win. Guys, do not go anywhere. When we come back, we will have more Halo 3 action at the Face It Ignite Halo European Open.